Welcome to COL Financial's first half technical outlook entitled Sunny with Chance of Rainstorms. This is Juanis Barredo, Chief Technical Analyst for COL Financial. The early part of 2013 has shown a very good start as global equities have continued to reflect positive trend swings, particularly over Asia. There is, however, the lingering problem of being quite overbought, coupled with major assistance being close by. As a consequence, this expands the level of short-term corrective risk. But the short-term uptrends still toe the line, our call to buy dips and rebounds of support will remain, so long as these critical support points do not break. Let us proceed to look over the Philippine market condition. The Philippine market has had a decorous 2012 and proceeded to show more follow-through in the early part of 2013. Continuing investment flows and bullish trend readings still appear as upward momentum holds for the time being as shown by strong ADX figures. We do, however, remain cautious on the note that overbought levels have become quite striking. Almost all three charting periods, daily, weekly, and monthly, have illustrated very high RSI readings, and its short-term readings do show overbought readings as well. This may well instigate heavier corrective action soon. Looking at the PSEI in greater short-term detail, it is currently housed in an aggressive upward channel whose short to medium term targets or resistance estimates point towards 6,650 followed by 7,000. The index still sits aggressively above its short term moving averages to which we will now defensively track on with a protective stop along its 8 day moving average followed by a 16 day average to acknowledge areas of short term support. A break of these may spell wider corrective intent enough to challenge its 32-day and 65-day moving averages. A view into the historical aspect of the S&P 500 between the year 2000 and 2007 shows a remarkable likeness to the upward path taken by the PSEI since bottoming out of a bearish swing in 2009. If this likeness can serve to give us a guide on what to expect, it does show a continuing upward drive interrupted by four corrective moments. The PSEI's upswing so far shows three, and shows a high chance into the short term of displaying one relatively soon, perhaps before the end of the first half, if not sooner. Thereafter, however, we see more advances swinging out. The Philippine peso is quite strong in its trend against the dollar. A wide downwards channel hosts its direction and resonates well with the Philippines' economic rise. A little on the lower end of its range, close to support of 40.35 to 40, it could do with some rally which should provide a good opening to selling the dollar perhaps closer to its resistance of 41.25. In all, the Philippine index remains strong as does its currency, both in sync with improving economy. That being said, we do have to leave some space open for a short-term correction are seeing a chance of rain to set overbought conditions right and to allow prices to ease off from resistance targets and scope out better support levels. Understand that potential reactions are but temporary profit-taking phases and such corrections should not lead into heavy flow-outs of distribution nor downtrends. People after all are simply safeguarding gains and are not being driven to bearish sentiment. Reactions may target 32 to 65 day moving averages and these pullbacks should be viewed as healthy and quite uniform to normalize uptrend standards. These merits should keep buyback options open once better support areas are found. Resonating with our technical view, we look to put up a trading strategy that is equally aggressive in offense and defense. Firstly, we continue to seek out outperformance and strength into individual stock choices. These can be identified through the following technical indications. 1. High ADX readings of 30 or more. 2. That prices continue to rebound off support of its 16 or 32 day moving averages. 3. They must show positive MACD values. And 4. Preferably bought while RSI levels are not too overbought. Secondly, we protect our positions aggressively by using tight stops. High momentum picks may need stop sequence at much shorter term periods which could even follow 8-day moving averages if not 16 or 32-day moving averages. 
the wideness of spreads of price to these averages should give you a good gauge. Buyback options outlined at support areas must still contain most, if not all, technical indications earlier mentioned, just to qualify the picks to be of higher short-term potential. In summary, we do feel quite bullish over the prospects into the Philippines. Uptrends are secure and macro trends are in place for more sustainable advances. All that is necessary is the rightful adjustment of extended price swings that can be rectified through reactive adjustments to better levels of support. We will continue to look for pullbacks into support for stronger Philippine issues and ride off the larger advance as major trends proceed upwards. Lastly, we continue to host up our protective stops to more aggressive levels just to keep in tandem with the aggressive state that the markets have shown. Thank you for viewing our first half technical outlook. If you would like to access the full report, you may download a copy of our report from our resource sections of our website at www.colfinancial.com.